This is the plaintiff, Frank Marzano Jr. He says he and the defendant have known each other for 25 years. And when the guy got down on his luck, he stepped in to help him out. He loaned him money and some of his video games, which the louse secretly sold to a video game store. He foolishly trusted the guy because he knew him for so long, but long time friend or not, he's suing him. But the $2,504 is old. This is the defendant, Joe DeFonzo. He says the plaintiff never loaned him anything near a thousand bucks, and the games he's being sued for, those were a gift from him for his birthday. He has no idea why the guy turned on him and sued him without ever talking to him about it, but whatever. After this, they're no longer buddies. He's accused of fouling up a friendship. All parties, please use your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, these litigants knew each other for 25 years. The plaintiff loaned the defendant money in video games, which the guy sold. Now, the defendant says the plaintiff is overblowing the whole thing. It's the case of Minecraft and Mind Games. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Okay. Frank Marzano? Yes. You're suing your former friend, Joe DeFonzo? Yes. For $2,504 in games that you say he was supposed to return to you and didn't, video games, plus a $1,000 loan. And you deny that that occurred. Let me hear from you, what happened? Um, around um, February of 2018, we started working together. Uh, once we started working together, our friendship had gone on from 27 years prior to that. Uh, but once we started working together, every couple of weeks it was, can I borrow $20 here, $100 there? Was constantly borrowing money. Now, did you get him the job? Yeah, I did, yes. Okay, and how? where had you run into him or reconnected with him? Uh, we actually lived pretty close together, uh, about eight blocks away. Uh, I ran into him in a store. Okay, so you start working together and then he would hit you up for $20 here. And $100 there, $60 there. Okay, how did you keep track of all the money that you were loaning? Honestly, it was a friend. I, I really didn't think about it. So why should I believe you when you say it's 1000 if you have no proof of how much it is? I don't have a proof of exactly how much yeah, it is. Yeah, I deal in exactly. That's what that's what I we do in court. So you're estimating it's a thousand, and you're estimating it's how much? Probably a little more than two hundred. Nowhere near a thousand. Right. And then you're both just so busy playing video games that neither of you have anything in writing <laughs> of any of the loans that went back and forth, and what's been paid and what hasn't been paid. Right. I'm just supposed to look at a crystal ball and figure it out. All right. So now talk to me about the video games. Uh, f after working, after, um, you know, his employment ended with me, uh, we still hung out. Uh, How long was, were you guys working together? Four and a half months, five months. Okay. So, um, after that, we would still hang out maybe once or twice a month, play video games, stuff like that. Um, mainly old games. Um, I was a collector. I collect games. I collect also old toys, stuff like that. Um, and every once in a while, he would want to borrow a game, which I didn't mind. His friend. You know, why would I not lend a friend to a game, uh, a game to a friend? Well, according you know? to you, you're suing for like 20 games that you loaned him and I did. he didn't return. So after he doesn't return the first one, why would you loan him another one? Well, the first time I lent him games, it was about six of them. Okay. After and did that, he return those before never, you loaned him any more? No. Right. So why loan him any more? Right. No, I understand. Because according to you, did he loan you 20 games? I don't think it was that amount. <laughs> Nearly that amount, but... This is no way to go through life, gentlemen. No, it definitely Honor, isn't. No. It wasn't 20 games, Your Honor. 17. That's how many you're suing for in this list. Castlevania Dracula, Mighty Final Fight, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Snake's Revenge, Lemmings, Contraforce, Superboy S, Game Boy Loaded, Vita with three games. All right. Um, where are his games? Uh, I brought some here. Okay, let's see what he's got there. Hand it over to the plaintiff. Thank you, sir. Where are the rest of them? From what I had, that's... Okay, so which ones are those that we can take off the list? I don't want to be picky, Your Honor. This is a bootleg? Yes, you do. Okay, yeah. this, this is a bootleg that's worth about $20 on a... On a that's not something you loaned him? Absolutely not. The okay. game that I loaned him was worth about $250. It Got was it. a legitimate original game. This is a copy. Okay. 
These two games are games that I did lend him. I did lend them with manuals, though. I'm not going to press that. Those two are which games? This is uh, Metal Gear and Snake's Revenge. Got it. This is the Game Boy console. Go on. Uh, this video game console is something that I actually did give to Joe that is not on that list. Okay, which was a gift? Okay. I didn't want it. Okay. All right. Where are the rest of the stuff he says you have? Well, that's you have I, a theory of where the rest of the stuff is, I right? know where they are. Where are they? He sold them to a video game store that we used to go to to buy and sell games. How do you know that? Because I contacted the owner and found out, and I have the receipts of some of the games that are in question that he actually returned to that store, sold to so that store. So you have proof from the store? That's correct. In his name that he took those items and return them to the store. When you say return them, uh, excuse, that me, trade excuse them? me, traded them to the store for a set amount of money. Let me see. Is it safe to loan a good friend, like 25 year old, 25 year friend money? It depends on the history of the friendship, but. As far as you know, you like the person, would you loan him a thousand bucks, say? Um, I wouldn't, cause I feel you'll be more vulnerable being that you are friends. Fair enough, what do you say? I agree. Okay, go inside the courtroom. Dracula X, you uh, pawned or whatever, I don't know what we'd call this, you sold to the gaming shop, and he says that was his. Okay. If... He says the same about a bunch of the other games that I've mentioned out loud, that you pawned his stuff. You took it in there and you got money for it. Um, you have all these values uh, uh, attached to it. If, if this is the amount he's getting for it, your values are super inflated. Where is the proof of your values? The uh, owner of the video game store was nice enough to give me uh, the price charting index that he uses yeah, to that's resell. that's not what you'd get for it. To resell the games. If I was going to purchase that game again, I would need to spend that Right, but you're not money. a retailer. You don't get that price. You, 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 get, you would get the value of what a guy who games all day, you know, or games a lot, would get if he was selling it to the... You know, that, that, that discounted price would be your price. Right. Did if you, I was how much money, did, what mm. caused a blow up between, was there ever a blow up? Was there ever a disagreement or just you guys faded into the woodwork? No, I actually tried to go to his house. Um, yeah. Never responded. Yeah. Um, I tried to call. I called numerous numbers that I had. I believe he just changed his number or was just even ignoring me at that point. All right. If this is a guy who gets you a job and this is the guy who loans you money when you need money, why do you do him like this? It's not, I had no intentions on doing him any which way. It was just certain factors that were going on in my life at the time. Like what? Uh, just problems with my family and that, you know, weren't. He says that he was knocking <laughs> on your door, you would never uh, answer. That's not he true, would, Your Honor. What about his phone calls? He says he would call you and then. That, that is not that, true, Your Honor. When I had my number changed, I did text him saying, hey, this is my new number. And I think that was the last time we did speak was when I had that number. Did he ever text you and give you his new number? I sent multiple text messages to that number and tried to call it. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, I don't want this to sound the wrong way. How old are you? 41. How old are you? Same. OK. Because um, you know I'm going to tease you about this whole game. Absolutely. <laughs> and my daughter dates a young man who is um, a pre-med student who is a big gamer and uh, feels like he's throwing his life away becoming a doctor <laughs> because his real calling was to be a gamer. Love that boy. Really smart. <laughs> he is really smart. Um, uh, I don't, I don't get it. It's not my thing. Everybody has something different. This is if somebody else might like to needlepoint. It's just that this, I, I just like, it's, you know, it's, it's ended up in court. You're asking for retail prices as opposed to the price your evidence shows it should be worth. You're, I don't know how many of those games are his. Yeah. Okay. If he says I pawned one of his, then I did. It's like, <laughs> My problem isn't that you're gamers. My problem is that you're so informal for grown men mm. about stuff like this. But then you want to come to court and you want me to be formal and give a hey. formal ruling. Um, based on those figures, I'm going to do a little rough justice and figure out, you know, kind of with you coming in here really empty handed in terms of proof of what went over there, how much money was loaned and everything else. He admits to 200. That's what you've been able to prove. If you want 1,000, prove you loaned them 1,000. People do that every day in front of me. They have texts that show it. 
but there's so many different ways to show that somebody owes you $1,000. If I would have had my old phone with our text messages on it, we wouldn't have been here right now. Yeah, you would have, because he doesn't know whether you have your old phone well, text there would have been messages, other things and he's on the one who phone started the litigation. We would not have been oh, here. Believe right. me, Judge, if I, if I had my act together and I could show you proof, no. whoo, you'd love it, Judge. We wouldn't be here so long. All right, mm. $200. Um, and in terms of the games... Based on what you've circled, it's very hard because he does, the, the fellow who he sells them to doesn't itemize it, just gives like a, a blanket amount. But based on my judging what each of those should be given the total amount, I'm going to add another 150 bucks to it, $350 verdict for the plaintiff, not 2504 So the plaintiff gets a lot less than he was seeking. He was actually seeking over $2,500. You've got to give him three fifty. dollars What do you think about that? You think, think it's fair? Uh, fair is fair. You said two hundred, right? Yeah, that you know in cash. Yeah, absolutely. And then the rest in games. Listen, anybody could tell a story. It all depends on how you could tell that story, right? Yeah. So that's the bottom line. I guess his friendship is kind of kaput. Is that right? Absolutely. We don't live too far from each other. A simple knock on a door can yeah. could have saved a lot of heartache and grief and and friendship. So. Interesting. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you you very must much. sign some documents out there, Mr. Marzano. You know, I think you're lucky to be getting what you are getting. You had no evidence, really. You, no, you I understand, understand that. I, yeah. I do understand that. Yeah, I did have uh, previous text messages from a phone that I don't have. Um, but, you know, what's, it, it's fair. It's, you know, whatever the judge decided, I have to live with it. Yeah, you are. But, I mean, you had you brought some evidence, you could have gotten Maybe right. the next time you, you do this with somebody. You'll keep Hopefully better records. Not. Keep better records, right? Trust me, I will be writing that down next right. time. So he still lives near you. I guess the friendship, as far as you're concerned, friendship is over. Goodbye. Uh, lives about eight blocks from me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good luck to you. Thanks Thank very you. much. Okay. Harvey. Okay, Doug. This case makes the point. Make sure you nail things down in writing, in text, or email, and exactly who owes who what.